Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Um, everybody's welcome here. Uh, this is going to be a reading for Sagittarius for August 2018. It's for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising sign. Of course, all the cross watchers are absolutely welcome. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, share. I always like that, and it does my channel a lot of good. It really does. It's free. It's all free. So, let's see if this reading resonates for you. Pick it up and go with it. If it doesn't, maybe next time, try your rising sign or your moon sign if this isn't one of those. Okay? But give it a shot. A lot of the times you can read into it better than I can because you know your personal and individual situations. So where it may not make sense what I'm saying, the cards themselves, the meanings of the cards themselves a lot of times will make sense. Because it's not going to be for everybody, you know, the in the planet that's a Sagittarian. I just, it just, it won't. Especially not everybody that's Sag Sun, Moon, and Rising Sagittarians. So, anyway, <laughs> we'll get her to go in here. And the Spirit can help us any time. I'm going to do a little bit different format. I got the camera set up a little different. You might have noticed. Looks like we're going to get started. I'm so glad you all are here. It always makes it a lot more fun to have more people. Thank you, Spirit. How many cards do we have? I'll just go ahead and lay them out, and we'll check our positioning. Still have to do that, even though I have a different, different layout, a different deal, a different camera, a different whatever. Come on off. I like these cards. This is a golden tarot. I think they're so pretty. I like the blue. They're all pretty. Oh, bottom of the deck, three of swords. This is overall for this month, Sagittarius. Um, the three of swords. That's a, a disappointment. Disappointing. For August, for the month of August can be a delay, a disappointment, could indicate a, a three-person situation that is is very disappointing or in some way is hurting your heart. See, the swords are piercing the heart. Let me check the cards and see where we're at here. Hang tight. Yeah, it looks like we can see pretty good. I could scoot over a little bit, but that's okay. Um, yeah. This is overall kind of mode here. Let's see what's going on for August. Maybe you're disappointed because the summer's over. Yeah, I don't know. Well, here's the Hierophant. And the Hierophant's a, a card of uh, big institutions, religion, uh, the government. Uh, traditional ways. It can be a card indicating marriage. They call it the card of the Pope. So you stand in the moon's back here and this is a stained glass window and he's got the church stuff all on him. He's dressed in religious attire. So yeah, this is the card of the Hierophant and that's a five. This is a major arcana. Um, and it's ruler Saturn, it's stability, it's, it's traditional ways. 
a traditional mode of doing things. The judgment. Wow, two major arcanas right next to each other. And this is a 20, two tens. The judgment card is a card a lot of times of karmic action, of karmic fulfillment. It's also a card of balance, of course. A lot of the a lot of tarot is about balance, about keeping balance in your life. Very lovely card. But this is a judgment card and she's going to bring a, a judgment. We'll see that would that would certainly go with the the institution card here. What else you got going on? Oh, four of swords. This is a card of recharging your batteries, of retreat, of resting before strife, before a struggle. That's or resting after a bit of a struggle, but not very much of a struggle because that would be like the Three of Swords, which is here. This is causing you to rest. Yeah. But it isn't a fight. Might be just you were in... Because the two is a, well, let's see what else is going on before I get off into the bushes somewhere. Okay, the four of swords. So we've got judgment, we've got institution people and tradition, and the, and the resting and recharging your batteries. Okay. Five of cups. That's two fives. Fives are a change. The Five of Cups is the card of crying over spilt milk. Boy, you're just really, really down in August, honey. You need to pick it up, man. Try and try and do some meditations while you're here resting. You need to raise your vibration here. Um, yeah. The Five of Cups is, a, is a, like I said, crying over spilt milk. You can see the man here. He's, he's all upset about these cups that have spilled whatever is in them into the grass. Well, the grass has soaked it up and it's gone. But he's got two more cups over here and he needs to turn around and pay attention to that before he sets on them or something and spills them too. He still has good things remaining. He's just not seeing it. He's not looking. He needs to change his perspective. You need to change your perspective. You'll have to let those go, as hard as it is, as hard as it can be. You're going to have to try and adjust. The Six of Swords, well, that's good. This is an indication of moving out of, you can see here, a gal that's in the, in the boat, and she's got the swords with her, and she's moving out of rough waters into calmer waters. You're moving out of trouble into a calmer situation. That's a good thing. And, and floating on. Let's see what else we got here. Six of Pentacles. This is an indication of uh, financial comfort. It's not a whole lot, but you're, you've got enough financially speaking to have and to share with others also. And it, this could be a card of a small windfall or a, a good job. Maybe a a promotion, possibly. Yeah. This is an Earth card. And it, the pentacles are a sign of, of the material things, the material side of life. And your judgment card's right here. So you probably... And you had to recharge your batteries. Hmm. So, yeah. What else have we got here? Ten of Cups. Wow. What a turn around. The Ten of Cups is a sign of an emotional fulfillment. This is all things emotional that are coming to you. My, my, my. What else have we got? How are we going to get there? Oh. The Page of Cups is, a, is an emotional message. This can be an offer of an engagement or, or news of a birth of a child or a uh, marriage, offer of marriage. It can also, if you're in the arts, if you're a, a you know, writer, artist, whatever, if you work in the arts, this can be a really interesting, emotional, good offer. Or maybe a good offer, you'll have to look, but it seems like it should be a good offer. 
for uh, possibly a job or so, something that's of interest to you. Something of an emotional nature, though, because it is a cup, and it's water. That's why it would be creative. But, yeah, this is a cup. Ooh, Eight of Wands. This is a card of action, messages, and, and offers flowing through the air. Oh my goodness, yes, things are looking up indeed. Indeed. My, we started out pretty bad. I'm glad we got better. So, yeah, the Eight of Wands, that's a good card. That's our last card to turn up. Let's take a look here. So we've got the Three of Swords overall. And it's... Uh, an indication that you've had an emotional setback. and This is an emotional bump. This is an emotional pain. But it is just a three. But still, even so, it set you back enough to where you had to do a little bit of resting and a little bit of crying because you were, you were emotionally drained. You're emotionally battered is what it looks like. But somehow you went to this person or this institution this is also a mentor someone of wisdom someone you can talk to someone like a counselor or a teacher someone you can trust um, or a priest but evidently they're aware of the situation and perhaps they gave you some good advice if you have someone like this in your life and you, you need to confide in them, and you need to ask them for their advice if you don't know what to do. And the card of judgment has showed up, and that's a karmic reward card, and it's enabled you to get out of this situation in order for you to move away from this situation. She is helping you, and he is helping you. Uh, probably some advice, or somehow this is related to each other. The judgment card, the karmic card, the, the justice, the balance, the what you needed and what you deserved, what you worked for. This is what you earned. You're almost to the last card of the major arcana. This is a double ten, twenty. So anyway, that's what, and it's working in conjunction with, with the, this mentor, this hierophant, the priest, the, the institutions, uh, whatever it is here. Okay, and she's, she and he are enabling you, after you, you do need to recharge your batteries. This is a card of rest or you're going to be sick. If you don't do it voluntarily, it will be forced upon you. You're going to have to recoup. You'll probably have to cry a little bit over the spilt milk until you realize that whatever it was that hurt you, it, it might have hurt you, but it didn't kill you. You're still good. You're still strong. You're still a good person there. And you're moving out of this situation where you were, you're so sad, you're so upset. So you're going to be moving away from this situation either physically or in your mind or, or maybe it's a job that you're going to move away from. But you, or maybe you're going to go get more education, which the Six of Pentacles could be also. But this is a card of sharing. This is a give and take card, but you, you've gotten... And now you've got enough to be able to give. So you're giving and taking here. And that's a, yeah, it's a card of abundance. It's more of a card of a work situation or a financial situation. Okay? But you're also going to be moving out of this. You'll be moving away from this. She's not facing that. And you'll be moving toward the Ten of Cups. Somewhere here you're going to get a, an emotional message. And it may be an offer of, of emotional fulfillment and also perhaps a step up in your financial situation, um, in your work life. It's going to be a message you're going to have to act swiftly on. It's going to be an offer you're going to have to examine and act swiftly on. Make sure you check everything that's going on, though, when you do. Okay? But these are this is a good outcome. This is... This is very nice. Yeah, when you move away, when you move away from this situation, you'll be moving towards uh, better finances, more abundance, and you'll be moving towards more emotional fulfillment. 
and you'll receive this message and it will be a call to action. A call to action. Okay, one more card. I want to know what the call to action is. <laughs> What's the Eight of Wands? Can we, can we get a little more information on the Eight of Wands, please? Eric, can we have a little bit more on the Eight of Wands? A little clarification. What call to action is it? What, what kind of a message? What kind of a, what kind of a call? What kind of action do we need to take for our best and highest? What does Sagittarius need to be aware of about this action? This call to action card. One more. Put you back together. Oh. Ah. You feel like you're in bondage. This is the Eight of Swords. You feel like you're in bondage, which you've got to move out of. And this is going to get you out of the bondage. Wow. Wow. Is that all we need to know? What else do we need to know? So you need to pay really close attention to that page of cups, that message that you're going to be getting in. Examine the... Ooh. Examine the, the offer. Yeah. You're going to have to act swiftly. This is the Knight of Swords. And it could, it's probably a really good offer. This is the King of Pentacles. They both came out together. So this should be getting you away from the situation of bondage between this message and this action. You're going to have to go fast, though. It's going to be really fast offer. It might seem like it's just so fast it's going to be chaotic. But you're going to have to jump on it. You're going to have to move with it. If it feels good, if it feels like it's something you really like to do, don't worry about the finances because they'll come. You're going to have to. You're going to have to jump on it. And this King of Pentacles, it might have something to do um, with agriculture, uh, something to do with landscaping, something to do with the earth. Uh, it could also have something to do with money, with banking, with something like that. This is an earth sign, and it might come from an earth sign, but that's not. It, it'll come from a man of substance, substantial money, and you're going to have to. Man, the, the Knight of Swords is fast. He's in and out. He's quick. If this was an emotional reading, if it was about a heartthrob or something, it would be a little bit different. But it's not. It's more like a business thing. You start out with an upset heart, but this is all business stuff. This is, looks like, to me, it looks like it's all work-related. Unless your work's broken your heart. I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. But, uh... Yeah, this offer will come, or maybe more than one offer, but the one that you want, if you see one there you want, and you think, man, I'd really like to do that, you need to hop right on it. Not it, Because it's fast, it'll be there and it'll be gone. If you screw around, you'll miss it. And it's, it looks like a really good offer, and it'll get you out of this situation of bondage. So... Yeah, and don't worry that much about the money, because the money will be there. And with the King of Pentacles, he is generous. He isn't wasteful. He's not miserly. He will pay you what you're worth. He will pay you for your work, and you have good work. So, yeah. Wow. That really turned out a lot better than I thought it would at the beginning, and I'm so glad. I'm so happy for you, Sagittarius. Yeah. Just remember, when these offers come in, when this comes in and this comes in, the next thing, bam, 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 you're going to have to get to going on it. So when it comes in, don't ignore it. Don't just sit there and go, oh, well, I'll, I'll take care of it later. Don't procrastinate. Don't procrastinate. You need to get it. It will lead, you, it will lead to more benefit. It will, it will give you benefit. It really, really, really will. Uh, let's see, this is an ending of one cycle and the beginning of another one on this. Ten of Cups. And it looks good. I think the judgment card she came and rained down on all this sadness, whatever was going on there, whatever bondage situation you were you were feeling trapped in, this is, man, she just blasted it away. Just blasted it away. Isn't it great? Thank you, thank you. I'm so pleased for you. I, I 
I hope this helps you. I hope you, man, it looks like you're going to kill it this next month. So, you know, kind of clear your mind. You need to kind of let go of this stuff. I know it's upsetting and it's sad, but you need to get a handle on it so that you can move out of troubled waters and, and, and reap all these benefits that's waiting for you. Even though judgment's a karmic card and you are due a karmic reward, that doesn't mean you can just lay there and wait for it to rain down on you because that more than likely isn't going to happen. You're going to at least have to get up and step out the door in order to find it. You have to go to it sometimes. It doesn't always come to you. But if you don't act, you're going to miss it. Okay? Alrighty, well, have a lovely, lovely August. Sagittarius, have a great, great, great August. I'll talk to you later.